All right, we're going over some more game detail here. Today we're talking about cover two defense. We can tell this is cover two look because we have two safeties on the deep part of our zone. We can guess that these safeties are in charge of playing deep half of the field. When you have two safeties, both playing deep halves, we call that cover two. Over here on the outsides, we have corners. Our corners are in charge of the flats, which are the short outsides of the zone. Our inside linebackers are in charge of the hook to curl zones. They're going to be passing off any crossers, any underneath stuff while watching the hitches or the hooks and the curls in the underneath zone. Let's check it out. This is a great job by the corner. They get the underneath pass, but the corner's there to rally the ball. He has a fade route on the outside that's entering his zone, and he also has an out route from the inside entering his zone. These corners are playing back to front, meaning they're taking any deep threats, backing up, getting vertical with their eyes on the inside, watching any threats that are coming to their zone. So right here, they're trying to run the corner off and get this easy dump off to the outside. But the corner who's playing the flat does a great job of playing both routes, eyes on the QB, figuring out where he has to be to make a play. All right, here's another look at cover two. We're going to pay attention to this outside corner. Remember, the corner's playing the flats here in the cover two. So he's in charge of taking away any first out routes that he sees. He's doing a good job here at playing the out route as soon as he sees it. This out route turns into an out and up. He does an awesome job at passing the out and up to his safety help. He has help over top. And I love this right here. He's pointing. He's communicating. He's making sure that his safety's picking up the lead. The one thing here I do want to change from our cornerback is once you give up the outside route, once you give up your man and now you're passing him off and you're playing high to low and you're outside flat zone, once you pass this guy off, your eyes need to go inside to look for any receivers coming from the backside. Right here, I think our eyes are looking at the QB and not really understanding that this player is entering our zone. If we have our eyes on the inside, we can find him quick to be able to make an easier play on the ball and not let this 10-yard gain happen. One weakness to keep in mind when going against cover two is there's only two players guarding the entire deep zone of the football field. The deep zone is huge, and there's only two players guarding it. So what you try to see a lot of offenses do is they want to bring this safety and take him to the middle of the field. You can do that by running a post from the outside or a slant or whatever the case may be, and then they try to bring the inside receiver and do some sort of route that ends up on the sideline. Right here, we get the out and up. But a lot of times you can also see the wheel. So right here we have a post from the outside dragging the safety to the middle of the field. The out and up from the inside is designed to get behind this corner who's playing the flat zone and hit this whole shot right on behind the corner on the outside of the safety in the cover two zone. That's a great ball and a great athletic catch there. But as long as you can make your wide receiver bring the safety to the middle of the field, you can pretty much hit that outside as much as you can. Now let's check out the blitz out of cover two. Right here, we still have the same look. We have two safeties up top. I got my corners playing a little bit back here because of the down and distance, but the blitzers are going to be our two linebackers. They're going to work on both sides of the center and make sure that they're really squeezing this quarterback. We're going to squeeze them and take away the contain and force the quarterback to run up the middle, force the quarterback to make a quick decision. And on the go call, we're going to have our safeties move downhill because we know the ball's coming out quick. Let's see what it looks like. Boom, we get good pressure off the start. Hey, and the quarterback's running out of ideas of what to do with the ball, and he has to take the sack here. If he does choose to take this quick dump off to, you know, maybe the center right here or one of these quicker passes that are crossing the field, hey, we're pulling the flag real quick and making sure they can't get to the first down marker. But if we know our defense, we also have to know what our defense is not. And what I think cover two is not is it's not a great goal line defense. So we're here, we're at like the seven yard line, right? And here are my cover two safeties. Now in this play, as we watch this play, this safety right here, he has an out, right? And there's also someone coming back in his zone and miraculously he makes this interception. I don't think we should count on this in real life. So what I would do is in goal line situations, I would probably maybe line up like I'm in a cover two, but I would drop this corner and I would play deep quarters, drop this corner and then play with two middle linebackers, right? But you can see from this play, 
This is asking this safety to cover him and him. And in short yardage situation, like goal line, I would probably get out of my cover two and go to a cover four. All right, so here's just another option for cover two. Especially as kids get older, I think it's really tough to ask safeties to cover half the field, right? If they're doing something like running a post and a go, it's a lot of space to cover. So this is Tampa 2. You may have heard about it. Here's what Tampa 2 is. Tampa 2 means you have a deep middle backer. So if we go back to the snap of this play, we can line up and cover two like this and just pre-snap we're going to designate. This guy is going to come over, migrate towards the middle, and this is going to be my Tampa 2 linebacker, and he's just going to drop. He's like a deep linebacker or a shallow safety, so he's not going all the way, but you can see in this play right here, freeze this play right here. This is a lot to ask these safeties. This guy right here, if he just turns around, he can get a quick completion over the middle, and I think that's the, the dangerous part of cover 2. So in the Tampa 2, if we go back to the beginning, Tampa 2 solves this because this person is running into this wide open space while my safeties still have their deep halves. And a play like this, which could conceivably be really dangerous if he throws this ball, is covered with that Tampa 2 linebacker. Again, I wouldn't try this with super young kids, but especially as kids get older, Tampa 2 can be a good variant here.